welcome to my channel. I am Andrea and this is Beyond the Pink Door. Today's video I am doing a sew along while I make my Estelle Pantaroma jacket. I'll just show you what it's like. So it's a waterfall front. Very simple and it just folds. So I have, there's an option to have pockets in it. I haven't added the pockets, oh, I'm trying to find my seat. I haven't added the pockets because I find them quite bulky, but I have mentioned that in the video. I'll just tell you a little bit about style arc patterns. So this is the pattern. You can see it, very simple. I like style arc patterns. Um, I found them in January, I think, on probably some Instagram post. And I bought quite a few of their patterns and they've been really, really consistent. They have fit really well. They have come together really well. Their instructions are sketchy, but I don't actually mind that. Um, they tell you whether they're beginner, intermediate, advanced, whatever. But, you know, if you read the instructions quite carefully, they are easy enough to follow. So this is the type of instruction. So they come in, um, they come in a PDF and a printed. I've obviously just bought the PDFs and stuck them together. You choose your size. So I have figured by the measurement charts that the size 10 is going to fit me. So when you order, you order your size and you also get the size above and below it. So I order the 10, I get the eight and the 12. Um, I'm not sure of all patterns, but some of the patterns have um, more, you can you can get like a various sizes. They come in massive number sizes and there is so many patterns to choose from. Like literally when I go on the site, an hour goes and I, I'm still looking. So there's loads of choice between tops, trousers, skirts, jackets. I've bought a few patterns where they've been like little outfits. So they've been, I bought the denim jacket and the Sally skirt and a top came with that as well. And I bought trousers that had a top. And sometimes it's actually even better value to buy the little outfit patterns because you kind of get like one freebie pattern in it. So yeah, go and check them out. They're very good as well for having regular sales. So. I think every pattern I bought has been in a sale because I just, <laughs> I love to do that. That's an actual added bonus. So I have made this jacket twice and I have read some, you know, when you see on the different sewing blogs and stuff, I have seen that the only place that people fall into trouble with it is on the construction of the shoulders, which go straight across the back and across the shoulder. So I do it my way and you'll see that in the video. The instructions do show you how to do it a different way, which I read and I actually thought it was slightly complicated. So if you watch the video, I will point out at that stage that it's not as per the instructions, but it's as per how I do it. So yeah, it, it works for me. Um, I've also made it out of 1.5 meters rather than, I think the instructions call for two meters. Mm, yeah, two, yeah, two, two meters. But I only had a meter and a half because I actually didn't plan to make this. I plan to make another Harper cardigan out of this Pantaroma. But then I thought, do you know what? Let's give this a go. So what I've had to do, and you will see me doing it in the video, is I've had to cut the sleeve in two pieces. So I have a seam here. I hope you can see that. Um, it's not particularly noticeable. I think I actually think it looks like a design feature. I quite like it. So um, any questions, if there's something that I've talked about in the video and it's not very clear, just leave a comment in the, yeah, in the comments. I leave links to the pattern and the fabric I've used in the description box. But yeah, any questions, just add them in. So I hope you enjoy this. I've actually filmed it over two different days. It's really, really sunny here in Ireland at the moment. My sewing room is quite dark, so I've been really struggling with knowing that it's lovely and sunny outside and it's quite dark in my sewing room. So I filmed half of it in my sewing room and then I filled, filmed the other half 
out here on this table. So I hope it's, I hope the lighting is going to be good enough that you will see anything. But as I say, any questions, just ask. So the pattern piece is here pinned in position, ready for cutting. This is the front piece, which is a strange looking piece. This is the back. As you can see, it's not pinned on a fold because there's a seam going down the back. This is one part of the sleeve and there is the other part. Now, the reason that they're in two parts is not part of this Estelle jacket. It's because I'm basically making this jacket out of a metre and a half. And the only way that I can actually fit in all the pattern pieces is to make the sleeve in two parts. So I'm basically going to cut that out. I have to cut this one out twice because it's going to fit into that area there. I'm going to put a seam allowance on this end here and on the corresponding one on the sleeve and I'm going to sew them together and I've done that before you don't really you don't pay any attention to it it looks like a like a design detail there is a seam going down the middle of the back so I think it all ties in pretty well there's only a couple of notches to mark so there's two there on the sleeve one for the top and one for the uh, front and then there's a corresponding one here on the front as well what I like about the style art patterns is you can see the seam allowance there marked in, in the little dotted line. So it's great to have a visual to know what your seam allowance actually is. I really like that. And the only other thing to say is I'm not including the pockets. So you, if you in, include the pockets, you can see there's the notches there for the pockets. Um, the reason I'm not leaving, uh, the reason I'm not adding the pockets is simply number one, because I don't have fabric. And number two, I put them into my last Estelle and I didn't quite like them because they were very bulky and I ended up having to take them out. So I'm going to leave them out and to be perfectly honest, I don't use the pockets in them because they sort of flap around inside. Anyway, I don't like the way they sit. And the only time I use a pocket is for an Instagram photograph. And that is the God's honest truth. So I'm going to set into doing my cutting out. So all my pieces cut out, pins out, and what I've done is I've put an X on the back of all the pieces. There's a slight difference between the front and the, the right and the wrong side of the Pantaroma. I think it would be noticeable if I sewed them the wrong way together, so I've just done that just to be sure. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, all my seams, because I, kind of, I like to sew the seams first in um, a bit of a production line. So I have the centre back seam pinned together. I have my sleeve pieces pinned together. So, I mean, if you cut this out the, the proper way with two meters, you don't have to do this, but this is what I'm doing. And then there's a little seam at the back of the neck and I'm sewing that together as well. So I have that pinned. So I've put in a new needle. I've put in a ballpoint needle. Um, and I've tested it because sometimes my machine wants to sew with a ballpoint needle, other times it wants to sew with a jersey needle. I've absolutely no idea why, it just seems to get in a mood sometimes. So I've set my machine to my stretch stitch, which looks like a little lightning bolt. And again, yep, yeah, I've tested on a piece of material and I think we're ready to sew. So I'm going to sew four seams first.
Now I've done all my seams. Um, luckily I thought of the back seam before I actually sewed it. So rather than put the right sides together, you put the wrong sides together. And the reason for this is that the collar turns over obviously and it's actually the wrong side of the fabric that you see behind your neck it'll come very obvious when we go to do the shoulder and collar seam so i've also overlocked them all there's no real need to overlock because i mean they're not going to fray or anything but i just like the look of the overlocking done on the inside and uh, makes it look less homemade i suppose um and then i'm top stitching on the right hand side of the fabric so here's the back is done and I'm doing this um, because, well, number one, I like it and number two, it kind of ties in the sleeve seam. So it makes it look like it was, you know, part of it and not just because I had a metre and a half of fabric. And this is how I'm judging the width away from the seam for my top stitching. You see it there in the background. I'm using the edge of the foot here just along the seam. And just keeping an eye on that as I'm sewing. So it should be the same width all the way down. Okay, so we're here at the point where we're going to stitch the front to the back. We have the right side up of the back. We have the wrong side up of the front. And we know it's the wrong side because we marked it earlier with X's. So I've cut a notch here and a notch here. And I'm going to bring the front onto the back. I'm going to line up two seams here, one on top of the other. I'm going to pivot this around and pin it. Taking care not to stretch the front or back neck. Now this isn't the way it's done on the pattern instructions, but this is the way I do it. And the next thing to do is to sew across the shoulder, across the back neck and across the shoulder again. So I'm using my stretch stitch and I'm going to sew from one end of the shoulder, across the neck and to the other shoulder. And I'm going to stitch quite close to where the little notch is into the like a little triangle that you're looking at. And at this point, this is what it looks like. So this is the shoulder, the back neck and the other shoulder. And I'm going to overlock the seam and then it's time to put in the sleeves. So now it's time to put in the sleeves. So we have our notch at the top of the sleeve. And we have another little notch here which lines up with a notch on the front. We check to see what's the inside. Now mine is very obvious because I have the top stitched seam on the outside. And we're going to pin the top notch to the shoulder seam. And I'm pushing the shoulder seam to the back of the jacket. Then I'm matching up my front notch. I'm going to pin all along. It actually lines up quite easily. There's very, very little ease in it. I'm going to do that on the two sleeves. It's really warm. I can hardly keep my glasses up. Oh, I'm in a new location for this part obviously um, I just found my sewing room too dark so I'm out here in my sunroom it's about 19 degrees today outside so I think it's about 24 in here so it's quite warm so I've pinned one along I'm going to pin the other sleeve on I'm going to sew up my stretch stitch and then I'm going to overlock and then we have two more seams left and we have a jacket we almost have a jacket. We have the sleeve sewn into the body. I've got it overlocked as well. I'm liking the look of this. Now the next thing we have to do is sew from the cuff 
under the arm and straight down on both sides. So an overlock and then we have a jacket. It's that fast. Now I have my two seams done. It's time to turn the jacket the right way out. Oh God, it's actually so sunny. It's not normally this hot in Ireland in April. I'm actually wearing a pair of shorts today, which is certainly not something I'm used to wearing in April either. And I'm roasting. But the evenings get cold and sometimes the mornings are cold, so I might get a little weird out of this jacket. Now my next suggestion is to check around where your seams are at the edge and just trim off any loose threads. And some of your seams, like the bottom of the where the front joins the back, your side seams basically, they might be slightly uneven, so just give them a little trim to tidy them up. And the last thing, just check around the raw edge up the front and around the neck. And just see that it's cut nice and straight. And if there's any like little bumps, just trim them off. Don't get too happy with the scissors though, you, you will end up in the scenario of Cutting, cutting the fringe and evening it up and then ended up with a little lump cut out of it. So just trim off any little jaggedy bits. That's all. And there you have it. You have a jacket. So here we have the finished jacket. Waterfall front. Just a little bit of faffing there. I don't think it's terribly noticeable that I've added a bit onto the sleeve. I think that works actually quite fine. It's a really lovely cardi for sticking on in the morning when it's cold or sticking on in the evening when it gets a bit chillier, throwing on over a few layers. So it dips down at the front and it's shorter at the back. So this is the size 10. I think it, this fits really nicely. There's a sleeve on this top and it fits in nice underneath. I sometimes find that when I make these kind of jackets or cardigans, the sleeves are actually quite tight, but there's lots of lots of room in this one. I've of course left out the pockets. Um, and the last one I made, I put the pockets in and then took them out because they just they just dangle in here. I just don't like them. So they make like a lump here. And no matter what I seem to do, they just won't lie straight. So I kind of miss pockets when I'm putting clothes on because I tend to put my hands into my pockets, but I never actually put anything into them. Like you really couldn't put your phone or you couldn't put money or your purse into the pocket. It would just hang and pull the whole cardigan down. I don't know whether to call it a jacket or a cardigan, but yeah, I think it's a bit of both. I really like it. I mean, a fully me made outfit today, Megan Nielsen Ash jeans. And this is another one of my ruffle tops, my favorite tops. I've just got one ruffle on this sleeve. This was a piece left over from a dress I made. So I'm going to keep my cardi on this morning. It's a little bit chilly. It's still quite cloudy out, but I reckon it's going to be quite hot later. So the jeans will be off and the short trousers will be on. So yeah, that's the, that's the finished cardi.